Good morning. So uh, it's the 30th, so we only have two days left of Vlogtober. And I had every intention on, of uh, vlogging yesterday. I did vlog some yesterday, but yesterday ended up being this whole thing, like multiple things happened that just kept me from vlogging. Um, we ended up, well, what order should I say all this in? Um, at some point, uh, so the, the first freezing temperatures were last night, and then tonight's the first kill frost, and tomorrow night also is a, is a you know, I think in, in the low 20s. And this has only happened one other time since we moved here, which is surprising given what a rural, rural area it is, and we've got fields like right behind, behind our house, um, just like a street over. Hi, Stevie. Come here, come here, over here. Here, do you wanna sit on my lap while I talk? Come here, come here. Oh boy, Ooh. okay, there, you wanna sit with me? So uh, anyway, we, I went to the store and I came back and my whole family was in distress and uh, standing around and they said that Pippa had brought a mouse out of our bedroom or Rory's bedroom, um, which again has only happened once since we moved here. And when we found that one, you know, two years ago, uh, it was already deceased. So I mean, it we didn't have to actually deal with it because the animals took care of it, and also because we have so many cats, um, usually the scent of having cats will keep mice away. Anyway, um, it was just a brown field mouse and for probably two hours without going into an incredible amount of detail even though it is a very funny story, um, Adam and Callie kind of hunted for this mouse in the studio um, and it kept getting away in very not hidden places like under a piece of paper and Callie being the very domestic cat she is was just like oh it's gone but it wasn't, it was under a piece of paper. Anyway, eventually Callie did catch it and Adam tried to like get her to go to the garage with it and then she ended up dropping it so then Stevie chased it into the garage and we were like, okay, that's fine, it's gone. I'm sure it'll get back out into the into like the, the yard and it'll escape and we don't have to worry about it. And then last night, um, while we were playing Valheim, I heard a lot of commotion behind me with Stevie and Callie and I thought they were just still like chasing the high of the first hunt, but no. The mouse had come back in because it was cold, it didn't want to go out in the yard, and Callie found it and then that time they they did, you know, get rid of it. So um, the, we no longer have a mouse problem, but that took all afternoon and in between all of that happening, Adam decided that we were going to finally rearrange my side of the studio. Which is something that we have talked about and I have asked for, for, we've been here for three years, so at least two years. Because Adam's side of the studio always looks so nice, it's always very tidy and organized and my side is an ADHD nightmare. Um, it's just, it's a mess, usually. And every time he'll be like, okay, let's do it, we're gonna do it, I'll back out. And I'll be like, no, 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 this is my system, this is how it has to work, it's not going to work. Stevie's rolling around on, on her back. E even rolling, he rolling. Don't you try to take that sweater off. I don't wanna hear it if you get cold. No, you leave the sweater on. This is so cute. Um, and I usually freak out and I'm like, I like it the way it is, I don't want to change it. And then we don't change it. So I think a combination of seeing the studio get so messed up as the, as the mouse hunt was happening and just also because he was on my side a lot during that, he kind of saw, I think, that there, that there was a need for more space and there was a need for some more organization. 
um, and also he has been saying that he really wants me to have a section of the studio that is just for relaxing and a section of the studio that is just for work because as you've seen the side of the studio on the stone wall closest to the basement is where my clay is and my my oven and then the other side where the big rug is is my um, my shipping but also like my gaming computer and then the yarn cabinet and so he wanted to switch the clay corner and put it over on the other side of the studio remove the rug um, so that it was easier to clean up and it all of it made sense but I absolutely like freaked out <laughs> the whole time I was just such a mess. Um, I got myself worked into probably two or three panic episodes um, and then ended up completely dissociating and shutting down and just being like let's just do it, let's get it over with. And then by the end it looks really really nice. I'll show you guys once I get it clean because there's still some stuff I have to clean and organize. Um, what? But it looks so nice and it is going to be a more efficient setup. I need to organize my yarn differently because now that the cabinet that houses the Imperial Yarns Company yarns that I carry in my shop is on the other side of the studio, I think I'm going to switch all that inventory out and then put some of my stash in the yarn cabinet. Um, which will be nice, it'll make it feel special. I think that my system in, in my studio is I tend to prioritize the shop stuff and not things that make me happy as far as like my own hobbies and my own free time. Um, I tend to push everything that's mine to the side for 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 shop stuff to, to because it's it's more important in my mind. So anyway, all that to say that was a very busy day. Way too much chaos to record anything. I did record me making chili. And that, and that was right after dinner was when, or lunch was whenever all that happened. So there was no other recording. Stop, don't, don't touch my tripod. Who go make a shake. And then this morning though, um, before I, you know, I was, I got, I got a Danish and I needed to get coffee filters. So while I was there, I just went ahead and got a Danish and it was really good. Um, I put it in the air fryer. Originally I thought three minutes was going to be what, it needed but that was way too much I'm sorry Stevie is uh, right at the base of the tripod um, but it ended up only needing like a minute and 30 seconds I don't really I don't know that three minutes would have made that Danish anything more than a puddle of burnt sugar um, and then I got a message with a link to my photos from my photographer buddy friend um, who did an amazing job on all of my, all of the, the pattern, or he did an amazing job on the, um, why can't I talk? The photos for the catacomb mittens. So I'm going to be integrating those into my listings. I'm going to share some on uh, Instagram and then uh, whenever I get out to my computer and get the studio all tidied up, I will show you guys all of them because he sent me the whole album. Um, yeah, he did a really good job and I'm really excited that he wants to continue to <laughs> take photos of my mittens for me because I was by no means a easy subject. Yeah, an easy subject to photograph I wasn't and definitely think that you can see how awkward I am in a few of the photos but they're still just beautiful photos despite the fact that I am an awkward human being so okay I have talked for nine minutes and eight seconds um, I'm gonna go out and clean up and work we have to go to work we do go go work do you guys want to see Stevie say hi Stevie such a good girl. She's a good girl. Yes, she is. David. David, what do? She's gonna bite me. She's a mean, 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 mean. She said you started it. <laughs> Are you a mouse hunter now? 
Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, and one more thing is last night I stayed up 12, till 12.30 um, because I was so close to, I know that you guys don't play Valheim, but at some point when, when you're playing Valheim, um, you can like tame pigs and wolves and stuff like that and you need to be near them in the game for them to tame and so when that was happening I just like set myself up in the cabin that I that we had built and just made my character safe while that was happening and I just knitted on Rory's mittens because I really wanted to finish them this weekend so she could wear them to school because it was cold it's cold today and whenever we ended up doing the stuff with the studio and the mouse um, I obviously didn't have time to knit during all of that and I was really concerned that her fingerless gloves I had bought her last year that were just like rainbow classic like Walmart fingerless gloves they were they're not super warm I just really wanted her to be warm and I was so close to finishing by the time we got done doing Valheim I just had the thumbs left so I finished the thumbs and then I tucked in all the ends and then she was able to wear her mittens to school today. Uh, the buttons come today. They were supposed to come this weekend and they come today so I can sew those on tonight. Uh, um, for the convertible part. She was very, very happy. It was just that they weren't finished, I think was just messing with her. Um, when I showed them to her earlier this weekend. So uh, she loves them and they look so cute and they fit perfectly. They're not blocked. I didn't block them last night. Okay, we're gonna go out to the studio and I'll show you guys how it looks. Steven, what are you doing? I can't play, I gotta go work. I gotta go work, I've already wasted enough time. I can't play, I cannot. You have to wait. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> You're gonna have to wait. <laughs> hey, Steven. So, yeah, clean up that, organize that, organize that, and tidy up the desk area and yeah but so this is all I can just roll back and forth between my stations um, I need to fill in these with that stuff the kitties now have because we don't use this door we had to end up taping it shut because it's not sealed very well down here so it lets in a lot of cold air and during the summer June bugs come in so we don't use this door for now, um, eventually we might remodel the studio and replace the door, but that's, you know, a very long time off. So for now, it's just a very big window, which I'm fine with. And then hopefully now this will be the new podcast area. We will see, but I love that I have the stone wall as like more of a decorative cozy element now versus just having my clay in front of it. And then I need to figure out my little fandom collection over there where I would like to put it. And then I'm keeping my my active projects up here. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that real quick. It is very chilly out here this morning. All right, so inventory has all been placed in these seven, yes, seven cubbies. So I have yarn there, and that's all the yarn that was thrown out of those. Don't worry, the rug is clean and I just swept, but... Callie, don't you go in there. Callie's very excited because she loves yarn. So far she hasn't attacked any of it. So I'm gonna try to organize all of it in there. I can't really believe it, but it fit. Got my striping yarns up top. Yeah, I can't believe it. They all fit in there. Um, I do have a bit of a problem over here with this stack of sweater yarn because I have some sweater quantities but I can't put them up until Adam pushes his side. Here I'll show you. So as you can see maybe back there right there 
a lot of yarn has fallen between these bookshelves which work as our divider and to give me more room Adam pushed his bookshelves this way but we need to move them back this this gap close this gap here um, but we can't do that till we get the yarn out and then I can't put my yarn up until I have that back to prop it against because it just keeps falling out anyway so it is clean enough now that I can dust my desks and get to work to show go get your go get the thing that Matthew's mommy made okay what'd you get today um Matthew made Matthew's mom made um little octopuses for everyone for I everyone in class uh-huh and I think Mrs. Bowman got one I don't know she said they were so cute <laughs> now Octi gets a little sister mm -hmm. and what did you say in the car that you wanted to do I forgot. Second hero of the house. What did you say that you wanted to give Matthew's mommy? Oh, a crochet hook. Yeah. Are you going to pick one out? Mm, I don't know where they are. Oh, now I see Here. one. Callie! You going to pick one out for her? Well, count her row of Callie's. I don't think she uses, it doesn't look like she uses really big ones, so. You pick one that's not, like, that's not huge. Yeah, that one works. Nice. I'll take it out of the shop so she can have it. Yeah, G's a pretty common um, and then I. size. I you want to grab one of my cards and we can just slide that in with her? With it? Yeah. Thank you. I said so thank you so much. That was really nice of you, baby. You're running out of room. What are you trying? Oh, a heart. Okay. That's my best heart I've That's ever That's the drawn. best heart. You did a good job. Okay, so I've packed orders today. Um, and that's pretty much it. I think. Uh, so, trick or treating starts in five minutes. It is so cold. Hang on. So, anyway, because it's so cold, we are going to try to go early and possibly gonna be in the car it'll be the first year I think that we've done it in the car and then tomorrow night they have moved truck or trunk or treating into the church basement one of the Methodist Church so anyway we're gonna get ready um, Rory just came back and said that her daddy said that it's time to get ready so we're gonna, go, gonna go trick or treating who are you smile. I know you're not supposed to. who are you Spider Gwen. 
What else is uh, Spider Gwen called? What's her actual? Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider. Good job. There's a pumpkin I'm of her. I'm pretty pillow. sure this is crooked. Hang on, I'm gonna fix. Go and go. Will, what are you? Yeah. Goku. Goku. I knew that's what his name was. All right. Are we ready? Super sound. Get coats on. Stevie, ready? No, you want to go with us? Like yeah? She said, I don't know what's happening. Why do my kids look different? She gave you three pieces? No. She is water to the old. The crunch is in. Lots of people driving tonight. Hey. What? Yeah, oh, baby. There. Hey, run over there in the recovery. There they are. Those are open. <laughs> Why are you carrying her? <laughs> oh, okay. That's so cool. How did they do all this? A fog machine. They have it every year. Oh, <laughs> I know it's a puppy. In a bikini. In a bikini. What? It's a bitsy teeny weeny yellow. Spider Gwen rode in the car. Okay, so it's very cold. Um, we are going to run to Grandma's and then go get um, Mexican food because it's really cold and uh, I don't know how long we're gonna last. Stevie needs to use the bathroom and won't, so that's what Dad's trying to do right now. Who's asking? She looked familiar and sounded familiar. <laughs> <laughs> or because of how you act. Is that any? I don't know. I can see. 